And I went back again and just pulled my card out there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't want to go. <laughs> I was going to speak that kind of work. I didn't want to use yeah. that hard stuff. So then I got a job at the home foundry. Yeah. Put me in there and I was water testing my head. Oh, it was all wet jobs get all soaking wet with it. Make you glad I didn't stay there. It leaked and squirted all over you. Know. <laughs> I was there two days, I guess. I had an application in it for the final light. So they called me to go down there. So I had I, I, I yeah, the foundry. So I went down to the it was more of what I like, and then they put me in there uh, working in the press room there, setting up dye head in the press room. Mm -hmm. And then changing over out of the shaft department there and after about three or four months, so <coughs> I left it in the rest of the time, man. Mm -hmm. I up to be supervisor. I was one of the big Cincinnati grinders there. Uh, Three or four years, I guess. <coughs> the supervisor once who he got fired for being drunk or something. And let me take it over now. <coughs> Was the war on then? Hmm? Was the war on when you were professional? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I used to get a bunch of men in there working, and the next day, they, oh, I signed up for the army, he said. They were on their guard, and I had to get some more new ones. That's all machine work. You gotta take the bears several days to get used to it now. Maybe you want more pie? Yeah, thank you. Well, that was when I met you, I guess. Oh, was that the following? Uh, we, uh, we paved the farm, I guess, for that house on, uh, on uh, Palmerston Street there. Yeah. <coughs> I quit the house on the tracks when I moved down to Palmerston Street. Yeah. I think in the wintertime there, the <coughs> George Salad here was having a birthday party or something, and the neighbor was over there who was down the forest, got talking to her, got to know her. Yeah. I didn't hardly meet her then, though. I think we walked home with her or something. Huh? Mm -hmm. And the next day or so, I mean, you know, used to go to Paul Dean, this and that, and I don't know, I guess I got talking to her and I wasn't going to go for a show or something or something else. Yeah. Well, that's the way it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the way it was. Yeah. Well, that's the way it was. I remember one time we did the show or something, <coughs> you and Hayes were out, <coughs> and we come down Russell Street. And you were suggesting all play along, you know. I mean, you were you had me fall in behind you. Maybe you remember that. And you put your brake on. Uh, and it was nice and good. Oh? <laughs> so you in the car? car? Yeah. You're <laughs> coming behind us, were Yeah, you? you put the brake on. You know, I guess you knew the car was, uh, you know, was fine on you. <laughs> well, maybe that's, we didn't know who you were. Maybe something. Uh, I don't know. Because there's that. Once you <coughs> don't like the uh, people that... Uh, Tailgate is too close, I'm going to slam my brakes on uh -huh. <laughs> And then another time, <coughs> and half of us taking out our first mess for theater, and uh, we went to the show, and your dad and mother are there, you know? <coughs> and Grandpa and I hadn't been out much, so we went to take the car out of the garage, and he had his car sitting in the driveway, and we forgot all about our stuff, and we're in the last Yeah, I don't have a
<laughs> then we went to Santa Claus Village, and I thought, he's not Santa Claus, because there isn't one. So I goes up there, and he goes, well, hi, Marilyn, have you been a good girl? <laughs> and boy, I believed in Santa Claus for <laughs> four <laughs> years. <laughs> I thought, that's really good. And then Carol would tell me, I'd say, no, nope, he was for real. <laughs> Grandpa went ahead and told her they were, or yeah. they were friendly. <laughs> and I didn't know. Yeah. When he did that, I wonder how did he know her? And yeah, well, I wish I could leave the Santa Claus for two more years. <laughs> <laughs> that was really neat. I remember one time Christmas my son said, Anne Laurie used to have a daddy, you know. He died before she was born. <coughs> and uh, hey, uh, your mother and Anne Laurie used to have Christmas together. <coughs> this time we're trimming trees, Christmas Eve. And we just up here where they were. He can smell the stairs. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. And where are your mom? Oh, I used to always try to stay awake. The harder I tried to stay awake, the quicker I fell asleep. Do you remember the Christmas present you got me? You put on it, do not kiss, do not shake. Uh, you put all these little signs on it. Saying uh, like don't spill it and don't turn it upside down oh, and all these the things. Oh, the radio. Yeah. One time we got your mother in the watch break watch she had a head. Uh, and we put it in a great big box. Put it in the other box that said it's not in the inside. So I uh, opened the box and I said, she's not in the middle box. <laughs> You guys want to sit by the fire? Mm. What do you have, Luke? Oh, whenever you want to take my home, I... Oh, I'm kidding, Nancy. No, I'm not kidding, Nancy. <laughs>